Evergreen Cypress Ministry International, ECMI, presents The Higher Life with Dr. Daniel O. Uparna, President of ECMI. ECMI is an interdenominational outreach ministry founded by Dr. and Mrs. Daniel Uparna to pursue God's mandate for global mass evangelism, his glory be the supernatural and revival. Across several cities and in various nations, Dr. Daniel Euphorna's crusades and meetings are characterized by the tangible manifestation of God's glory, an intense teaching and prophetic anointing, and awe inspiring signs and wonders that exalt Jesus. Through cooperation with hundreds of churches from different denominations and in various locations, ECMI Mega Crusades have witnessed mass salvations, the stirring of believers unto revival, and impacting of entire towns. Hello, welcome to the Higher Life with me, your host, Dr. Daniel Ufarana. Uh, what a pleasure and a privilege to bring God's power, God's glory, God's word to your homes and your offices. Now, I'm going to continue sharing with you a series I started last week about receiving increase through faith. Now, I began to teach about how to receive increase because of God's word to us at the beginning of the year, which I mentioned to you earlier, was increase, authorized increase for 2016. So I began to share with you how we can receive increase through faith. Last week, we looked at a number of things. Number one was that increase is God's design. Number two, that we manifest God's kingdom through increase. And number three, that there are several factors through which we can provoke increase. Number one is scattering. That means sowing far and near, um, labor, uh, gathering, you know, the grace and the anointing that flows in the church and through praise and thanksgiving factors that we can use to provoke increase here on earth. Now, today we're going to continue from there. Um, we're going to look at Job and get a vivid picture of how Job became the greatest man in the East. I wanted to read um, a testimony about Job. In Job 1, I'll read verse 3, then I'll read from verse 8 to 10. Job 1, from verse 3, then um, from verse 8 to to 10. Now, he reads, and I quote, Also, that's talking about Job, his possessions were 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 female donkeys, and a very large household, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. Now, if you jump to verse 8, then God began to have conversations with Satan. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the works of his hands, and his possession have increased in the land. Wow, wow, wow. Now look at that last statement. He said, You bless the works of his hand, and his possessions have increased in the land. So that even Satan gave acknowledgement to the fact that Job increased by the functioning of the blessing of God on the works of his hand. The, re the real truth is that Job actually walked. So the blessing came upon the works of his hand. You know, hallelujah. Now, the second factor that Job, I mean that Satan mentioned there, is that, you know, Job was also protected. I'm going to come to that shortly. So for increase to happen, the predominant factor is the blessing. You know, um, let me show you that blessing that work in the life of Job. In Job 29, let's go back to, to Job again and get to into verse 29 uh, and read a few verses in uh, chap chapter 29 and read a few verses. Now, from verse 2, he says, Job was speaking. He says, all that I wear as in months past, as in the days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone upon my head, 
When by his light I walked through darkness, just as I was in the days of my prime, when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent. Now that was the blessing walking in Job. You know, and he went on to mention many other marvelous things that happened in his life. But I want to take note of certain factors here. He says, when God watched over me, now when you are blessed, the eyes of the Lord will watch over you. Now look at verse 3, he says, when his lamp shone upon my head. That's another thing that happens with the lives that are blessed. And then he says, when by his light, I walked through darkness. Now a blessed man will walk by the light of God in the midst of the darkness of the earth. And then verse 4, it says, when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent. Wow, friendly counsel. That's what blessed people enjoy. Hallelujah. So Job became great by the oppression of the blessing of God upon his life. Now, another thing I want to point out, like I was mentioning earlier, is that for increase to be sustained, there must be protection in the realm of the spirit. Let me say that again. For increase to be sustained, there must be protection in the realm of the spirit. That's what Satan referred to as the hedge that was all around Job. He said you put an hedge around him, around all that he has, around his household. Wow. You see, that's what blessed people enjoy. That protection. You know why? You notice that when God downgraded Job's protection, Satan came in like a flood and destroyed those things that were previously protected by the hedge that God placed around Job. In other words, Job's protection was in layers as it is with us. There was a layer of protection around everything that he had. There was a layer of protection around his health. Then there was a layer of protection thirdly around his life. So when God lifted those first two layers, Satan rushed in and destroyed him and all his increase vanished. That's why for increase to be sustained, there must be protection in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. So Ephesians 6, 11 tells us, it says, put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the evil one. I challenge you today, go to Ephesians 6, maintain the armor of God. It is so important in the times in which we live. Hallelujah. So the blessing of God, and the protection that comes along that, with that blessing will bring you into the place of increase that is sustained. And that is your portion in 2016 in the name of Jesus. Now let me talk a little bit more about the blessing and increase. I'll look at the story of Abraham, Isaiah 51. Let's get to Isaiah 51. I'll read in verse 2 of Isaiah 51. Hallelujah. Now, he says, look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who bore you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Now another strong point there showing us that the blessing, the increase that Abraham experienced on it was the outworking of the blessing of God that was on his life. But let me even give you an example of that increase. If you go to Genesis 12, I'll read from verse 5, then Genesis 13, verse 2 and verse 6. Genesis 12, from verse 5. You see a measure of the increase that God brought Abraham into. Now, in Genesis 12, verse 5, that was the beginning of Abraham's sojourn from his house. And look at Abraham's starting point. Then we'll look at a few years down the line, how increase came to Abraham and, in, and Abraham, you know, became expanded. In verse 5, then Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people whom they had acquired in Haran, and they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. So he took his wife, his brother's son, and their possessions, and they traveled to the land of Canaan. Now, after a few years of this journey, let's go to Genesis 13, the very next chapter, and begin to see what happened to Abraham. Genesis 13, let me read in verse 2. It says, Abraham was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. I mean, just immediately he responded and began to obey God, and that blessing came upon his life. Look at the difference. He became rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. 
Now look at verse 6. The outcome of the blessing. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together for their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. Now that's what the blessing of God does in the lives of blessed men. The blessing will lead you to the place of increase in material possession and increase in, in, in the material substance of your life. Hallelujah. So Abraham became who he was in terms of wealth by the operation of that blessing. From when they could travel with their substance to the time that the land could no longer hold their substance for him and Lot to dwell together. Hallelujah. In fact, adversity does not hinder the blessing. Because we see the story of Laban. When Laban cheated Jacob, the blessing still manifested in Jacob. When Isaac dwelt in famine, the blessing still manifested through Isaac. So, whether there are adverse conditions or there are no adverse conditions, blessed men thrive and survive. Hallelujah. I just want to read the story of Isaac for you. Just a, a brief, Genesis 26, in verse 3, and then um, in verse 12 to 13, just for you to see how that um, blessing made a difference. Now, God told Isaac, in verse 3, Genesis 26, Dwell in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants, I give all this land. Notice that God says, I will be with you and bless you. Now, if you immediately go down to verse 12 of Genesis 26, you begin to see, it says, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. Now, what happened when the Lord blessed him? Verse 13, The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. In the name of Jesus, I pray decree upon your life that in 2016 this is your experience by the blessing and the effect of that blessing you will begin to prosper and continue to prosper until you become very prosperous in the name of jesus and the next thing i want to say to you is that the blessing is a powerful force for increase okay the, that's what we have read in the lives of these people job abraham isaac the blessing is a powerful force for increase there was nobody that was blessed in the Bible that remained the same. When that blessing came upon jo Jabez in 1 Chronicles 14.10, the story of his life was rewritten. When that blessing begins to work and manifest itself in your life, the story of your life will be renewed. And that is your portion in the name of Jesus. But you know what? I've gone through all these things to show you the impact of the blessing upon the lives of all these people to say to you, that as believers in Christ Jesus, we are connected to the same blessing. Hallelujah. The blessing that made a difference for Abraham, for Job, for Isaac, for Jabez, for Jacob and all of them. We are connected to that same blessing. Let me read in Galatians 3, 7 to 9. Quickly, to see how the New Testament believer in Christ is connected to the flow of Abrahamic blessing. It reads, therefore know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all nations shall be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Those who are of faith are blessed along with believing Abraham. Abraham believed God. And in the same way, those who believe God, that's those who have faith, are blessed along with Abraham. To be blessed along with Abraham means to increase with Abraham. In other words, to increase the same way Abraham increased. To receive the blessing of Abraham is to be empowered for the outcome of Abraham. In other words, as we believe in the same way that Abraham believed, we are blessed in the same way that Abraham blessed. The Bible says, so that in, in Galatians 3.14, it says, so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us and we may receive the promise of the spiritual faith. So when that blessing come upon us, like it did upon Abraham, it will have the same impact in our lives like it did upon Abraham. Hallelujah. So what I want to say to you is that we have these blessings already. The blessings of Abraham are our heritage in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3.14 lets us know that. So, these are the things that made Abraham what he became. That blessing. 
And if you made Abraham increase on it, that blessing will make you increase on it in 2016 in the name of Jesus. So I challenge you, begin to walk in the consciousness of that blessing. Stay tuned to this series because I'm going to be, continue to teach how we can make that blessing become manifest. But I tell you, you are in cost, you are blessed along with believing Abraham. If you're a believer, hallelujah. So begin to expect those blessings to work in your life. Begin to expect to see those blessings. Begin to expect to experience those blessings in the name of Jesus. Increase the us this year in the name of Jesus. So don't go away. I'll be back after this testimony to pray with you and minister in the supernatural to you. Stay tuned. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts and I will declare your greatness. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Sister Margaret was diagnosed as having uterine fibroids and scheduled to have surgery. That was on the 21st. I was in the hospital. They said there's no blood in me because I have five blood uh, issue. The surgery became necessary because of the abnormal blood loss she was experiencing leading to low blood levels in her body. However, on the 21st of June 2014, she had the surgery rather than human surgeons operating on her. It was Jesus and his angels that literally operated on her. Sister Margaret's encounter with Jesus happened at a miracle service with Dr. Daniel Euphorina. Desperate for a miracle and intent on escaping the edge of the surgeon's knife, by faith, she listened to Dr. Daniel during the service with urgent attention and worshipped Jesus with all her heart. As the glory of God intensified and God's servant began to pray, Sister Margaret fell under the power of the Holy Spirit. She was caught up in a trance in which she saw Jesus along with two angels performing a surgery on her. When she came to herself, she knew she was healed. A repeat scan after this encounter showed she had no more fibroids and since then the doctors also suspected cancer. They went ahead to do a six week long histological examination which also came out negative for cancer. Sister Margaret, happy by this medical verified miracle, attended Dr. Daniel's next miracle service and promptly gave her testimony to glorify Jesus. Have a look at her latest test results. Fell into our anointing. What I saw was the great physician, Dr. Jesus, with his angel. They were operating me. They were doing operation on me. Praise the Lord. After that vision, the man of God touched me and prayed for me that go. The Lord has done everything. So the following day, I went to the hospital, Garriki Hospital, for a test to confirm it. When I went here for the test, the stand came out that there is no fight blood in me. You know, devil, devil has different ways of planning with want to when you want to fight it you have different ways so what came out of the result that I have two percent uh, two percent cancer I said it's never my portion it's not my portion I will not then they said I should go for biopsy test I went for the biopsy test when I went for the biopsy test they said it will last for six weeks all I was praying I always told my in-law you people should be praying that when the results come out, it should be negative. And so yesterday, when I collected the results, I went to see the doctor. The results showed negative. Praise the Lord! Nothing. 
Jesus still is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did for Sister Margaret yesterday, he'll still do for you today. Only believe, release your faith, and connect to his presence today. Now for those of you who are there, who have one healing need or the other, um, I want to release God's power over you right now. Just like in the testimony you just saw, that power is available to do the same thing. Uh, and according to many of the things, the manifestations of the power of God we have seen everywhere all over the world. I want you to lay your hand, your fingers on whatever part of your body there's an ailment in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every illness. I command that elbow, hand around the elbow, be healed in the name of Jesus. Move that hand now, move that elbow now, and be healed in the name of Jesus. That head, be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, I rebuke disease, I rebuke illness. I command that blind eye, open in the name of Jesus. I command sight, perfectly restored. Now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, the hand of the Lord is upon that. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Restore wholeness. Everyone that is missing an organ, you know, uh, uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we call for those things that are being under the air. We call for creative miracles. Now, in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Grow back what is, what is cut off in the name of Jesus. Be restored and be normal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, the way to receive your miracle is by taking actions of faith. Begin to move that part of your body. You're going to check for differences in the area of your illness or, or your pain in the name of Jesus. And then share with us your testimonies. Your testimony gives, you see, it does two things at least. It establishes your miracle in the earth realm. And then secondly, it inspires other people and the faith of other, of other people. And in fact, thirdly, it ensures your victory over any recurring symptoms okay so share your testimony with us the address is on the screen i'll be looking forward to hear from you but don't go away i'm going to share something with you stay blessed hello for those of you who are out there who are yet to surrender your life to jesus i want you to say with this prayer with me lord jesus i surrender myself to you today fill me with a hunger and a thirst for more of you in the name of jesus now if you've prayed that prayer with me today i want you to make up your mind look for a bible believing church and begin to attend i also want you to share your testimony with us there is an address on the screen right now send to us and i will send you an ebook on how you can take next steps to become a more mature believer in christ jesus amen it's happening next in kubwa abuja nigeria as ecmi presents kubwa mega crusade with Dr. Daniel Euphorina. Kubwa gets set for a fiesta of miracle details to be communicated soon. Jesus is glorified. Evangelism is of foremost importance in God's agenda. There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents than 99 others who are righteous and need no repentance. Jesus' last major commandment to believers was the Great Commission to go make disciples of all nations. This Great Commission demands great obedience and is every believer's responsibility. Now, evangelism is the arrowhead of the Great Commission. Supernatural mass evangelism is one of God's prophetic strategies for evangelism. It was prophesied in Daniel 12:3 and officially kickstarted in Acts 2 on the day of Pentecost, where 3,000 people were saved at once. Over several generations, God has raised men and women to pursue supernatural mass evangelism. In this generation, that's my assignment. So I invite you to join hearts and resources with me and ECMI in this noble task of mass evangelism. Three things will happen as you give and partner ECMI today. Number one, heaven rejoices as you partner to bring sinners to salvation. Number two, you will find inner fulfillment knowing you're doing what God loves and are being fruitful on earth in preparation to stand before God on the last day. Number three, the same power at work in our crusades will work in your finances and your family to bring you accelerated harvest. 
just like it happened for a dear partner that gave over a million naira, that is about five thousand dollars sacrificial to our last crusade and uh, she just won a contract worth billions in value for her firm just like it happened for another partner also over whom i prophesied um international open doors and he i mean has just been employed as a country manager for a usaid funded project and his salary has increased more than four times and it's happened for so many others too numerous to mention i want you to take that step of faith today and set yourself up for the same power go online to www.ecmiworldwide.org and register to partner today now all who register to partner to give any amount will receive a soft copy of a partner brochure this is our partner brochure there's a colorful one that records an account of the last crusade and then there's another partner brochure that details um, what you have uh, when you partner it comes along with a free um, documentaries and series of miracles in our various meetings and uh, we'll send a soft copy of that to you um, to who to you who can do it I challenge you commit to give 50 US dollars that is 10,000 naira um, monthly which amounts to about 600 US dollars uh, which is about 120,000 naira annually for ECMI mass crusades and I'll send a soft copy of our mp3 message on the supernatural finances in the glory realm and to you who can do it I challenge you to give a hundred US dollars monthly that's about 20,000 naira monthly and that amounts to 1,200 US dollars or 204,000 naira annually or above and you receive a soft copy of my book Supernatural Finances I mean Faith Capsules Living a Supernatural Life by Faith I challenge you today take steps don't procrastinate give 21st century mass evangelism give your best to God's first that is to his priority let me pray for all our evangelism partners everyone taking that step today bring out your financial instruments wallets checkbooks and or credit cards and let me just release god's power and favor over them lord in the name of jesus i release financial miracles your power and your favor in the name of jesus lord let there be increase just as you have spoken to us let there be uh, breakthroughs in the name of jesus let what you do in your finances this year make what you did last year look like child's play thank you father in jesus mighty name amen so giving can be done via our website www.ecmiworldwide.org or via international or local bank transfers there are kind details on your screen um jesus loves you and so do i i'll see you next week you can follow dr daniel o euphorina and ecmi on Facebook at facebook.com slash ECMI Worldwide or online at www.ecmiworldwide.org on Twitter at Dr. Daniel 04 or at ECMI Worldwide Watch Miracles teachings and prophetic clips on youtube.com slash ecmi worldwide you can also contact us by calling our sms to plus two three four eight zero nine two eight three one seven nine five or plus two three four nine zero eight zero zero six six seven seven one or 234-908-006-6772. Or send us an email at info ecmi worldwide at gmail.com. Evergreen Cypress Ministry International. Healing the nations, revealing His glory.